What's up Legion and Nerds and welcome back. We're here with another 12-12 battle for you guys today. And today we are seeing a new faction that we've not seen on, on the uh, battlefield before. It's the Gurid Sultanate, which is kind of like a, they're a weird Indian Muslim sort of nation. They're pretty, they look pretty damn cool. So we'll look at a few of their units before we start this epic siege battle today uh, between the Gura Sultanate, obviously, the Papal States, which we have not also seen, um, and obviously pleases me as a Pope to uh, to see these boys on the battlefield, and the Teutonic Order and uh, the Duchy of Lesser Poland are on, and they are, those two, those final two are the defenders. So I mean, the Gura Sultanate, they've got some Gura, uh, some Royal. Uh, it sounds just like Pikes, really. I'm how I'm going to say, but a heavy spear infantry unit. Um, they look pretty damn cool. We've got some Afghan infantry, so you know where these guys are like part of the world they're from. Obviously, like Afghanistan, like northern India, sort of the world. We have matchlock at war elephants, which are probably the coolest looking things. Like they, we look at their guns quickly; like they've just got like tubes almost. And we also have some Napathathur, um, so some like Nafatoon war elephants as well. I presume these guys are just going to throw Nafatoons out of their little huts up here. Um, what else have we got? We've got some some Do Aspas, so it's like some really cool um, cavalry. These guys look very bright and colourful, a bit like in India, very bright and colourful. Um, what else have we got? Lots of, of Rajputs that are going to be taking the walls first with the siege towers. Let's see, have a look at them. There's a, there's a few of them down here we can have a look at. These guys are pretty damn cool as well. Yeah. They look well armoured in their chainmail, look very nice. What else have we got here? We've got some or more of those, Royal Payaks, um, some Chark Infantry, these like crossbows. Since they've got infantry in their name, I wonder whether they're actually half decent in combat as well. They look pretty cool. So anyway, we'll get on with the battlefield, uh, on the battle. I'd like pause instantly as like these fireballs of justice are just about to go off. So we'll have a look at what happens here. Are they going to hit the cavalry? No, not quite. Teutonic Order look like they're defending the walls over here. Interesting decision. The Teutonic Order look like they're going to defend sort of the walls, whilst on the other side it does look like, um, well, the Poles, well, it seems like a bit of a mix. On one side they look like they're going to just give up the walls. This side they look like they might sally out and maybe defend the walls. Here we go. Here comes that sally out by the looks of it. The Halbrudder here, medium melee cavalry, or maybe they should avoid in the artillery, one or the other, but they might go out. But certainly the gates will be opening. Surely they'll be activating them. But yes, we'll have a quick look at the Papal uh, States as well while we wait um, for the first real assault. So they've got some Balistari, so these some like crossbows here, they look excellent. Annoying that they're all hiding in the foliage. We've got some heavy shot cavalry, these guys are so well armoured. Um, they look excellent. And then what else have we got? Some more, some more cross. well these are actually bows, these ones. Um, everything for them is very much upgraded, we've got some swords over here. These guys look pretty good. Look a bit like sergeants almost. Maybe, uh, may actually, no, they look a bit like dismounted knights. Um, but yeah, they're basically just heavy melee. They've got some halberds over here as well. That's excellent to see. And so that's kind of it. They've got some cavalry as well, some general's bodyguard. But that's kind of it. They've also brought a lot of catapults. They brought one, two, two catapults. Th maybe three? No. What's this? Oh, a spear unit. Oh, some sergeant, papal sergeants. Gonna have a look at these guys. Oh, a good hit from the uh, catapult there, killing quite a few of those people signs. But look at that, the cross keys of St. Peter, SPQR, that's what we like to see. Um, but yes, I mean, two, uh, two catapults is pretty, like, unusual. Don't usually see more than one, if, it, if all, any at all, because you can usually just take the walls and fell easy. But as you can see, this is going to be a long battle, so you better get strapping, guys, and get ready for some epic choke point battles and some bloody bloody siege warfare. But I mean, I think this is on the map that is Akka. Um, it looks like a similar one. I've done recently done a video, uh, a replay on this map, which we, well, was Akka. So it looks very, very similar. It may be Antioch, it, it looks very, very similar. But um, balance power, slightly in the attacker's favor, which is all what you want, but that's possibly because of the elephants. They do have the numbers uh, advantage to the defenders though. So this could be interesting to see what happens. They've brought a lot of cavalry as well, have both um, the defenders. So I expect a lot of sallying out. Um, looks like they've got halberders on, over here ready 
to Sally out while they also... Oh no, I thought they had some over here as well, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm getting my uh, sides mixed up. But I mean, they've got lots of defences ready in place. Lots of um, Pavi Spearman ready. And it is um, a bit strange, I will admit. I'm not quite sure why, but the defenders... Dead silent. Look at that. Dead silent. No noise. Then if I go over to the attackers... Well, actually, they're dead silent at the moment. But they actually, they, there is noise. <laughs> They're being very silent at the moment, so it's a bit bizarre. But um, why this is happening, maybe the replay is ever so slightly broken. But it does not matter. But um, yes, yeah, so here we go. The Spears, the Royal Pyrex, they're sending up some of their... I would have thought these are quite elite, having the name Royal in there. But they're setting them up. They're going to knock down the gate. And they're going to go through straight away, it would seem. Um, but yes, this is a, a bit of an old replay, so... Um, I can see why it possibly... Maybe it's slightly outdated with the mods, the music's not quite, well, not the music, but, like, some of the uh, noise is not quite there, but who knows. But here we go. So here we go, the Raj puts it down, and they're onto the walls, and they have no opposition along this entire wall. And there we go, another one down. Excellent. Just the Archer Towers that they're going to have a problem with. But they, they're they uh, very simple to deal with. Here we go, let's see the final one come down. And the Raj puts are onto the walls. Excellent. But I mean, they've got lots of barricades set up. I would have thought the defenders might use this barricade. I mean, it's a bit hard when they've got the one back here as well. They've got no crossbows on the barricade, which would be quite good for... You get quite an interesting angle here. You could shoot nicely up onto those uh, Rajputs up there. But I mean, they'll get a few kills, um, will the defenders, through the arch towers in a minute. It looks like they're just going to get off. Are they going to capture it? Oh, they lost some siege equipment? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess... It doesn't really matter because I guess that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to knock down the gate and then you just go in. I wouldn't go in just yet though because, well, you haven't quite captured it. So the oil would definitely be a problem. But here we go, and a fiery ball going off. Where's that going to hit? Just the city. Interesting tactic. I mean, it will work. Damaging um, the settlement will damage morale. That's always good. Look at the amount of Teutonic Order uh, soldiers here. These are um, Sal... Sam Lander Swordsman. I was about to call them Salamanders, but yeah, there's a lot of them here. There's one, well, there's one there. There's about another four of them here. Wow, the Teutonic Order is really not going to give up this whole area. That is good to see that they're going to defend in, well, in depth, I guess. We've got some some halberds here. Uh, looks like enemy towers have been destroyed. Let's see how the Gurids are doing. I presume, oh, well, not the Gurids, the uh, Papal States. Looks like they're doing something. But here we go. We have a sally out. What is this? This is the Hal Brothers over here. They've got out. And they are probably looking for a good target. Maybe those artillery pieces? I would certainly go for those artillery pieces. Interesting. But I mean, they're being scared off by Papal Cav. Some heavy shot Cav and some melee Cav. Looks like they're, just, they're not going to bother. Um, but I mean, yeah, it looks like those archer towers have been just reduced to nothing by the artillery. They're not going to go for knocking down walls, they're just going to go for archer towers. And so they're going to have no resistance to the Papal States with, um, with archer towers, which is fairly, which is good to see. And here we go, it looks like the Halberd is going to turn around and maybe go for the attack. Yeah, here we go. First fight, and it's outside the walls, a clash of cavalry. Who will win? I think because of numbers that Teutonic Order should win this fight. Um, also there, but they are melee cav fighting um, shock cav, so maybe not. And there's another sally out here. This is the papal player. Um, with These are the knights of Krakow with their great banner. Are they just going to go and attack the people at the towers? That's not a bad idea. Slow the towers down. I mean, but the archer towers are destroyed, so you're not really slowing them down for much. And they're not really defending the walls either. They're kind of like, any men that they had on the walls to start with, they're now off. Yeah, they're just trying to get round. Are they looking for a target? The general is having to be committed. Wouldn't want to send him in just yet. Yes, don't know what they're quite going for. Okay, the other unit of um, Papal Cavalry has also joined. That's good to see. But they do have... Yes, here they go. I don't know if these are... I don't think this artillery has any ammo left. And the other one barely has any. But it's now going to be a fight with the general. This is risky for the Papal States. Early on, a large, large risk. They need to send some spears. And these spears, yeah, they are getting there. These sar Papal Sergeants are getting there. Uh, Excellent. And the lack of silence has certainly gone now. There we go. The uh, men are shouting. and they're, Looks like the knight, the papal general has won that fight. And the knights are going to pull away. Just because they've probably seen the uh, sergeants arriving. But that's certainly going to have hurt their numbers. This is a large unit of cavalry, I just realised. 
This is an 80 unit, uh, 80 man unit. Oh, they all are actually. I thought the great, to be honest, something made me think that the um, Great Banner of Krakow had an extra large unit for some reason. But mate, clearly not. Um, they're sending over some infantry now, and it does look like the Teutonic Order is going to start to lose its men. Which is a bit of a waste, but I mean, it certainly will weaken the uh, Payful Cavalry as well. I mean, though this unit is losing decisively, but it's, or losing, but it's still very, very strong. Yeah, they should certainly mop those guys up. And it looks like, well, certainly this unit here is, um, well, basically going to have to use the this Archer Tower for safety and the catapults. Because it's very much trapped out here. But now it's, that means the Papal States are having to dedicate some units just to stop and protect this whole area. Which is actually quite smart by the Polish player, and it looks like he's just going to go for a charge. I would have left the unit there. It's but it's safer being there than it is charging around. Are they going to charge into these infantry? That's not a good idea. No, no, okay. So how are the Gurids doing? They are... Oh, looks like they are on to... They are already on the first line of defense. They are already attacking... What are these? Some Pavi Spearmen. Some more... It looks like the Teutonic Order is really... Taking the brunt of the fight first. Um, I imagine these Rajputs probably won't win. These Pavi's crossbow, uh, Pavi's spears are going to take a long time to get through. They don't break so easily, so they're going to need to be, um, they're going to need to surround them. But I mean, they've got a lot of defenses over here as well. Looks like more Rajputs and more Pavi spears. Um, yeah, there's not really anywhere they can really get out of them. Afghan infantry already over here. While they are really deep into the enemy defenses, are they going to um, capture this tower or these towers perhaps, and then? Which is not a bad idea. Then you've kind of got can secure this entire area by capturing this. Because they've already kind of like penned themselves in of the defenders. You can see here with their barricades. Really penning themselves in. They don't want to defend the outer layers of any part of the sea. And already the elephants are in. That's what we like to see. So it looks like the Napatha war elephants are coming in. Are they going to go straight into the fight? Um, it may be needed to be honest. These elephants might need to just break through these uh, Pavi's spears straight away. Because... These Rajputs most certainly won't do it. Or they're just going to sit there and throw the Napathas at range. It's not also a bad, I a, a, a bad idea. I think they're Napathas. I'm definitely I'm definitely butchering these names. I think they're just Nafatoons, aren't they? But they're getting focused down. So, I mean... It's brave of him to send them in. But these guys are going to have full ammunition. Like, all these defenders have ammunition. They're just going to focus on these elephants. And here we go. Are we going to see if... A volley, yeah, there we go. So it's just like Nafatoons on elephants. And yes, what a hit. Look at that. That's the damage that needs to be done. And they need to get they need to get more infantry in it just to focus down. Um, just so they can focus down. Like, certainly get some archers in it so just to save them. These elephants, yeah, they need to get through. And they also need to go after those. They need to go after those archers. But yeah, elephants are now in. And this is going to cause chaos. But, I mean, I don't think these elephants will last long. They've got infantry support, yes, but it's, it is better now that they are in with the infantry, but they're still a huge target. They're still going to get hit quite a lot of times with these arrows. I mean, they are well armoured. And there you go, one's already dead. I'm sure it won't be long till more will die. Not that we want that. Match socket, uh, war elephants will be very handy as well. They're already going berserk. Um... Yeah, they need to send more infantry in just to, like, take advantage of this. These Rajputs need to get in. Maybe send these other Rajputs in. And there you go. They've taken another wall. Um, so these Afghan infantry are doing the right... Doing the job. But, I mean, look, already there's halberds going forward. So they clearly ain't happy with the defense here. Still think they need more. Elephants already dying left, right. Smart of him to get them out of there. Get those elephants out of there. They were sending far too early. It was a great move. It meant he had to commit more troops into this breach. And he's killed a lot of Pavi's cross... Uh, Pavi's uh, spearmen for doing so. I want to keep saying crossbows, but they're not crossbows. Um, over here, have they started their fight? They have. And it looks like they've broken Pavi's formation here. That's not good for the uh, defenders. They really need to stay in Pavi's formation like this. But these Rajputs... Um, I, I don't know. They might. They should slowly gr grind these guys down. They're fairly upgraded as well. A lot of chevrons. So they should do okay. Um, yes, they should be fine, I, I think. Looks like the Great Banner... How did the Great Banner of Krakow get back in? they let him back in? I do not know. Must have done. But anyway, the uh, fight outside the walls is over. And there's a lot of men sprawling around dead. That is uh, 
sad, it's a sad sight. Lots of Teutonic Order dead. But here we go. The Papal States is now going to land on the walls with his siege towers. Let's watch this happen. For the Holy Father, the Pope, we shall take this city. There we go. They're onto the walls. Excellent. Yep, so it's all these heavy heavy melee infantry, and they're going to get focused down by crossbows. Well, not crossbows, they threw any arches. Surprisingly, Howen brought crossbows. Crossbows are a good, good little angle for them, but also, I mean, bows won't do a bad job either. But, I mean, yes, it looks like the Polish-Lithuanian alliance has been uh, reignited, bringing these Lithuanian archers to the battlefield. I mean, yeah, you really need to just stop dallying on the walls, just get off the walls. But, I mean, obviously, like, pathfinding is a bit of a bit of a bitch sometimes, so I can see why it's it's probably taken a while. What have we got here? Some more, probably more Pavi Spearmen, yeah. This is Polish ones this time. So they should, uh, they should do some damage. Looks like the elephants are already going back in. Why? Why? I mean, they're not focusing them down anymore. They're also out of ammo, so I guess they've got no real purpose left. They are just kind of like, just elephants now, which they are pr pretty still dangerous. Yeah, they are actually getting shot a lot now still. Get them out of there, please. Whoever's playing is the Guru on it. I beg, please get these guys out of here. That's another one dead. No. Do you fools not know that elephants are in danger? Don't kill them. But, I mean, they've got a lot of archers over here. A lot of them focused here. Not so much on the other side. So the Papal States need to take advantage of that. I also certainly wouldn't be attacking here anytime soon as the Papal States. And they also have some gunners. I did not see this. So they've got some Pavi's hand gunners to match the matchlock elephants that are on the battlefield. So they should be they should be coming pretty handy. They'll be certainly actually good for breaking elephants. Um, since they are, well... Well, you know, they'll send them out of control and stuff like that. Just like these ones, which are out of control. And there's one of it left. One of them left. No! Oh, oh, no. What a waste. I mean, I say what a waste. It did a fairly good job. We'll see at the end of the battle whether it was worth it. Whether those elephants should have been held on to till longer. Would you would you guys have kept them um, till later on in the battle to break choke points or would you have already done it? Because I mean they did do a lot of damage to this choke point but there's still a lot of men in this choke point. Lots of Pavi's crossbows, lots of halberdiers. They've got more ready. More Pavi's crossbows now. What are this? What's this unit? Prussian archers. Oh, don't think I've seen these guys before. They look pretty cool. I mean, not very good for protecting themselves. They've got a tiny little shield. But, um, yeah, look at all the archers they have dedicated here. More Prussian archers, Pavi's crossbows. They have a lot of stuff dedicated here to the uh, Teutonic Order. So it looks like he's going to take charge this side. Poland's got minimal stuff over here. Um, Poland's really going to face off the Papal States. But here we go. I mean... These Rajputs, I don't know. They're doing a fairly good job, but I mean, they really need to get some archers over here. To make these guys pay for just like the pain they're putting through. Like, certainly, here, I mean, they're nearly round here. They could almost force their way round with a unit and surround these halberdiers, and I'll do some damage. Um, the Afghan infantry, I. Oh, God. I wouldn't have sent these Afghan infantry all the way up here. Like, I mean, yeah, you're taking a capture point, it's going to damage morale, but. This unit's it's losing men unnecessarily. I mean, it's only lost a few, but they are getting softened up ever so slowly. So but maybe that was just part of the tactic. Maybe um, they wanted to um, just capture all these like points just to give themselves a chance. If I was the uh, defenders, I would have sent, like... They have cavalry, I'm pretty sure, still left, don't they? Where's that great... Yeah, here it is. The Great Banner of Krakow. Get that unit. All the way over there. Go and pin them down. And then with the support of the arch tower, you should be breaking them. Oh, okay. So the Pavi spears are already breaking. Okay. That is new. So maybe those elephants did come in handy and they did their job. But I mean, there's still lots in this breach. Like, these halberdiers are going to take a long time to get through as well. Hopefully they focus them down with archers. Um, the Gurids. But I mean, I think they've just rallied, haven't they? I, I don't know who I'm supporting, really. I mean, balance of power is in the attacker's favour ever so slightly. But I feel like just with the numbers, the defenders ever so slightly have a chance. And I kind of want to see the Papal States win. As a Pope. As a Pope, I kind of do want to see the Papal States win. I try not to be biased. But it's hard not to be. But in supporting the papacy, I am also supporting 
the infidels that are the Gurids in their far eastern realms. But I mean, yeah, look at this. Would you want to charge this? Like, good god. There's already like a pile of bodies down here. I mean, the Rajputs, they seem to be doing a lot of damage. Maybe these are like another really strong unit. Never seen anyone. I've never experienced anyone playing as the Gurids. So, I don't know, but maybe they're going to be secretly really good. Who knows? No obvious mistakes yet from either side. Maybe the, the elephants may have been, but they were also kind of, something needed to break through those pav, that Pavis line, and it is now doing some damage. Um, these u this unit here is losing decisively. I mean, this one has been in here the longest. This one's a lot more fresh. They have a lot of stuff like ready in reserve. I certainly wouldn't be attacking over here. I mean, they could. It's certainly a larger to choke point, and you're only up against sword, so it might be worth it. You probably do want to attack at multiple sides as possible. Obviously. Just to weaken the defenders, and hopefully um, the papacy is doing the same. I mean, they're really just going for what, this one choke point, and that's a debatable decision. I mean, they also want to send in my heavy shock infantry first, because these guys are getting focused on by, ar by archers. Um, they also have sent in some of their heavy melee swords, but I mean, yeah, look, these guys are getting minced with arrows. I mean, I don't see many falling yet, but that's because they're still leveled up. But you want to leave those guys to last. To break through that final line. But yeah, these Polish Pavis, will, again, will hold here for a long, long time. If I was the um, attackers, I'd probably try and push through here. Like I said, you've got to just get through. Make the defenders do as much microing as possible. So you've got to force them through. And also, you want to get these Lithuanian archers off here. They've got a nice little spot here. I see what they're doing. They're going to... Well, actually... Yeah, they're going to try and drop down and get behind this... Um, this barricade, so that's really smart by the attackers. Um, but they're gonna they're gonna pay for it. They're gonna lose a lot of men all getting there, so that's not so good. Um, looks like the Afghan infantry succeeded in taking that, and that's gonna damage morale. They can now also probably link up and surround um, this unit. So in fairness, these guys here probably won't actually start thinking about pulling back soon. Not yet. They're not under immediate threat, but they are slowly coming into some threat. And like, I mean, look at all this infantry here, just ready, stacked up. Jesus. I mean, they're taking a bit of damage. I'm sure these archers, these... I want to know how many kills these Lithuanian archers have got at the end, because I'm sure they've got so many kills. Like, killing everyone down here. And they're sending up more troops, more Pavis, cross, uh, Pavis spearmen. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep correcting myself at the last minute, thinking they're crossbows. But yeah, they, they're already ready. Like, good god. Like, after you like, if you're one of these Italians, one of these papal boys, and you think, oh, we finally got through this line of really tough spearmen, then you look back there and you just see another line of spearmen. You're like, good god. What is this? How can we beat these invincible men with their big shields? But yes, there we go. So they're already they're already down as I expected. Look how many men though they lost. Ninety six. This unit's like at half strength already. Was it worth it? Possibly. They certainly would have lost a lot going through here. Really good move here by the um, by the archers though. They're gonna have to just focus down on these archers on the flank. Don't look like they're taking a lot of casualties yet, if any. Um, the there we go. They've destroyed the tower. They've they've probably lost more men doing that, haven't they? I bet they didn't. Eh, looks like they lost a few. But yeah, here we go. They're already going to just get ready in this choke point. So they're not going to surround them at all. Those guys can stay there all day if they wanted to now. But it does like, seem like the player's not so happy with being flanked here with his archers. I'd have left them there. They seem to be winning that engagement ever so slightly. Because now he can just focus on those probably spears. If, the, if he retreats those archers all the way back... He's just leaving his Pavi Spears to get focused down by these guys. And that's that could be huge. But yeah, here we go. So they're going to start hacking down this barricade. And they're going to have to fight another unit of Pavi Spears. Looks like Poland just decided to bring Pavi Spears. He's brought mercenary Swiss pikes as well. Oh god, these pikes. They're going to do some damage. They're going to do some damage. What's this? More Pavi Spears. Surely there was a limit on the amount of Pavi Spears this man could bring. Dismounted Junior Knights. I've not seen these guys before. Well, just having a look at some guys while uh, we wait on some choke points to break. But, I mean, look at that. Look look at that. What has happened here? Like, these 
Rajput here is almost surrounded. The Pavi Spears have uh, broken their formation. That's not going to favour them. They really need to get back in formation. I mean, they can't without dying. And there's a lot of Sa um, Samlander infantry now in there. Even more over here. I mean, I wouldn't... Like, there's no need to have all this infantry in it. They're doing perfectly fine on their own. All these halberds are doing perfectly fine. I mean, they're at the wrong angle. But is there much you can do about that? I don't know. But the enemy... Um, not the enemy. I'm supposed to be rooting for them. Um, yeah, these Chark infantry need to get out, and they need to get back to, like, shooting, like, these guys back here. They have broken this unit of, um, Pavi's Spearman once, and there you go. That unit of, um, Rajput that's almost surrounded, cut off from the rest of the front line, is, uh, about to break. These halberdiers have just about finished them off. That was a nice little kill there for the Rajput, though. We'll take another one down with him. It's like, if we're gonna break, we'll take as many with you as possible. I mean, the Rajputs are, like... Ferocious warriors, they're uh, revered in India, in their in their like western part of the India which they're from. Yeah, they they're retreating now. It's another part, another unit of. Um, oh no, these are the uh, Royal Piax or however you pronounce that name. Going up, they'll be uh, they'll be pretty good at facing off against these guys. I imagine Spears versus Spears. That'll be a slow a slow fight, along with some halberds going in there. It looks like. I mean, I think the Teutonic Order's got this well and truly locked down. There's no way they're getting through here anytime soon. It's going to take something ridiculous to get through here. Um, the Papal States is going to have to make some good moves here. I mean, they're already running out of our, um, ammo, those Lithuanian archers. Um, I would definitely move, for the, move this cavalry. Just getting focused down by, art, by the artillery. I mean, in fairness, it's nearly all dead. Um, yeah, if I was... I'd just start trying to find ways through. Like, send a unit maybe all the way around here. Make them um, knock down this barricade. See if they send up more units. Stretch them. Force them to attack, uh, defend as many choke points as possible. Obviously, it weakens your attacks, but you should have more infantry and more stuff to do do damage with. But in fairness, I think they have less men. They still do. They've closed the gap, but ever so slightly. These guys aren't going to break anytime soon. It's so, so well protected. Oh, you can look at that. See nicely inside uh, that little archway there. That nice little archway there. I don't know. Just little things like that. Little deals like that that you can just see, just see them fighting out. Excellent. Paper. The papacy will be pleased if you win this. But, I mean, look at these shields. They look beautiful as well. So much variety in them as well. I say that as I see about four of the same all in a row. But, I mean, they all look so... It looks just brilliant, don't they? Such a good mod. I mean, they've really broken through, actually. I think just with brute force, they've, like, pushed this uh, Pavi Spearman unit out of its formation. Um, could they possibly get by there? I don't know, could that unit possibly get... I don't know, this barricade I think is probably still stopping it, isn't it? Bit of a shame, you definitely want to get these archers up here though now, just to shoot these Pavi Spearmen down, now that they're out of uh, formation. These Lithuanian archers, yeah, I wouldn't shoot these guys, they're not really in the right spot to be shot at. But, um, he's done a good job. Elephants! Elephants are back on the battlefield! This time it's the matchlock ones, they're just going to just shoot from range at... Everyone back here. It looks like these um, Afghan infantry, though, aren't firing so well. I presume... Yeah, these probably guys are probably the weaker tier. They're medium. Are Rajputs heavy? Yeah, I imagine so. So, yeah, you can imagine these guys won't hold very long. They prob That's probably why they were dedicated, just to capturing stuff. There we go. Shot from the uh, matchlock infantry. I'm not quite sure. But it's probably just going to be some guy falls over and kills over and dies. It's not, like, doing a massive damage. Are they shooting other guys back there? I'm not sure. Who's under fire? Let's get the hood up. Uh, it is the Samlander Infantry that's under fire. They've not lost anyone. Um, I... Yeah. Uh, no, they're trying to shoot the um, Pavi's crossbows back here. Like the shots are sort of hitting and hit going there. But yeah, there you go. The Afghan Infantry is about to break. So these elephants are going to be vulnerable. You're going to have to pull them back. Because I wouldn't want to send them in now. Don't send these guys in now. They're getting slowly focused down by arrows as well. Come on, let's see these guys fire off a few rounds. Volley! Come over, volley. Oh no, you're gonna go in. 
Oh, I don't know if this would have been my decision. Oh, why not use all your ammo up? I mean, I know you're getting focused down, but yeah, you are going to break through this choke point. You're going to kill a lot of your own men as well. They need more infantry up here to support this, uh, support these guys. But if you're going to bring, I don't know if the Gurus, I don't know what their roster's like, but I'm sure they have elephants that are better in melee. Um, I mean, no elephant's bad in melee, but I'm sure there's, like, some war elephants that are actually dedicated to fighting in melee. Why wouldn't you bring them? I mean, the Nafatoons seem pretty good. Obviously, Nafatoons just been, like, insanely good anyway. These matchlock ones, it's good to see them on the battlefield, but I haven't really seen them kill anyone and do much damage. And they're certainly going to get themselves killed going further and further into this formation. Look at them. They're going so far in. These, these halberdiers are going to just munch them up. Yeah, I'm not really sure where they're shooting. I think they're shooting all these guys back here, but I mean, they're not doing any damage. I mean, yeah, they're killing them. I just saw one there fall over. These crossbows have got such a nice line of sight now on them. Yeah, these crossbows can just like... The real gunners of this period, they can just go like, yep, I can see there. Easy. Yeah, you can't even miss. Come on, let's have a volley. Let's have a volley. That's a bit of a volley. But yeah, you can't, you can't miss them. Like that. Yeah, the elephants lose the size to believe. They got any infantry around here? No, they got some cavalry. That's not so good. The gears look almost spent, to be honest. They're running out of infantry. Certainly a lot of their infantry is pretty low. They've got Afghan infantry left that's pretty leveled up. And um, they may be pretty good. What have they got here? More Rajputs. And some more spears. Probably gonna get them inside. Um, but they are starting to waver and break the Teutonic Order over here. Teutonic Order looks like he's got a fair amount left, but uh, I don't know. Poland looks good. Poland look like, looks like he could hold for a while. I mean, certainly with all these Pavi's uh, spears. But he's also probably up against the enemy that has the most stuff left. And it looks like the Papal States is just going to sit here and shoot at him. Um, interesting decision. He has captured the wall. I'm not quite sure the oil's still coming down. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't shoot at these guys. These Pavi's uh, spears, they're fine getting shot at. You want to shoot at possibly like these guys back here, Dismount Junior Knights. Um, or you want to shoot at everything that's up here, get the angle on them. Um, yeah, these guys, I, they are sort of winning that fight. Wow. Um, there you go. Like I said, the Pavi Spears. I'm sure this is probably helped by um, the Archer support. They're losing, and they've got another line of defense already set up. More Pavi Spears. And these Lithuanians, look at them. God, are they actually, are they duking it out? I'm not even sure what they're duking it out with, are they? Well... These guys don't look like they're even firing. They don't like. They haven't even got their bows out. Maybe he's got. This is his idea. I don't see many of them falling. So, in fairness, is he just like leaving them here, kind of like suck up a little bit of ammo, and then just like use his ammo? Because these Lithuanians are nearly out of ammo, and then he the they've basically got free reign. They've not got many archers over here of Poland. Poland's actually got no archers left. Oh no, he's got one unit of Lithuanian uh, archers with like full ammo. And he's got gunners, which are shooting as well at the, uh, like, the shock infantry as they come in. But they're now safe. I'd send these guys straight into, uh, straight in there. Uh, and they're going to pull back. Ah, oh, I wouldn't have done that. Look, he lost a lot more men doing that. Moving. Hmm. They nearly have ammo, though. I'd just hold my, hold, bide my time and then, uh, you could just shoot them. Shoot them to death. I'm setting up those Pavi Spears again. That's a stupid move. Just save them. Well, I'll mix them in here, actually. Yeah, mix them in with this unit. That's that's not a bad idea. Here they go. What are they going to shoot at? The Gunners? Not a bad target, because they're also under... They can't defend themselves with a the shield. Actually, these are Pavi's Gunners. Maybe they could. Why is everything that the Polish have got Pavises? They're just the pa Pavis Poland. That's what I'll call them from now on. Yeah, yeah these guys... Uh, yeah, they're not going to stick around and get shot for... Uh, at will when they can't reply. Um, yeah, the Gur is looking pretty rough. They're setting in their general. That's a, that's an interesting mu move. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have done that, really. Al Hadin Kilji. Yeah, he's a, a unique character. It's what we like to see some of these unique characters. The unit looks really good, though. Very, very elite. Um, I'm sure this cavalry could do quite well on the battlefield, but it won't do any good in there in that huge choke point, so don't send it in. 
Also looks like we've got the Grandmaster Bodyguard up here. He's getting ready. Um, this choke point. Oh. Did the... Who won? Did the Curates win? I'm not really sure. Possibly, and they fell back. They're certainly just going to, like, juke it out with their Chark Infantry here on the... Um, Pavi's crossbows. So it looks like... Oh, look at the bloodbath that happened here. Bloodbath is insane. So many men that died for nothing. And now we've got some Afghan infantry coming up. They're going to just go in. And what, they're going to be faced with some Samlander infantry. So a fresh unit. I'd send in these weakened units first. Um, might as well. They're no use um, later on. Uh, they're not even sending them up yet. I'd send them in. You've got to get in there. Get in before. Don't want to fight over the breach again. You want to try and get in, get the angle on them, flank them. But now they've just lost that possibility. And here we go. The Afghans going in. They're not done yet. And they've also been supported with some pavies. I presume these are pavies crossbows that run out of ammo. And we've got more stuff back here. I was thinking Teutonic Order had nothing left, but he's got loads left. He's got more Prussian archers. Which I'm sure are not too bad in combat. I mean, he's also got his shock infantry here. His uh, Ritter Bruder, his dismounted ones. Jeez, he's got a lot left. I mean, infantry-wise, I the Gur is running out. But I mean, they've got a few units left. They're bringing another two in. They've got about three fresh units. Well, four, including that one. Um, yeah, they're running out. Running out. Come on, r Papacy. You need to break through Poland. You need to help out here. There's a lot of time left in this battle. Um, so, God, I don't know what's going to happen. But I hope all you guys are doing well. You're staying healthy and safe. And uh, hopefully you can enjoy this while you're in self-isolation. We've got a long... This is... Keep you occupied for a long time if you're bored of sitting around and doing nothing like I have been for the last few days. But it's always good to watch two great army, or four great armies go up against each other. But two, two sides, right? Really. Oh, they're setting up their pikes as well. God, you're never going to get through this choke point. What are they setting up here as well? Oh, there's Lithuanian archers going to combat. Uh, probably just to like slow these guys down. Sent to their deaths. They did so well as well. They killed so many men. Also, it does allow the gunners to um, shoot these uh, men. I mean, the gunners are... They're getting focused down, though. Okay, camera. I've got a real battle here on my hand with this camera. I don't know if they really get many kills. I wouldn't say so. No. No, they haven't lost many. I mean, I think they've lost more. They're certainly getting bloodied up. The gunners are... They've got a lot of ammo left, though. And those archers are about to break. But then I want to. I'd like to see the uh, Italians get through the. Or not the. Oh, is the Italians get through this? The Swiss pikemen. These are part of the papal guard, probably, or the Swiss guard. And they've re they've rebelled. Now fighting against their employer. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't engage. It's smart by the uh, papal player. Just stand and wait. If the gunners start shooting. If the gunners come back, then he can shoot them with archers, so that's fine. Maybe, I don't know how many more archers he's got. He's got a few. These ones on the wall, they are. He's got quite a lot of archers left. Um, I'd certainly start shooting these junior guards, uh, junior knights back here. He's sending in a lot of infantry here. Um, must have broken that first unit of Pavi Spear at some point, because he's now onto the second. And his junior knights now being sent in. Um, I imagine it's inevitable. Yeah, he is actually shooting them. So that's smart by the paper player again. P playing very well as a paper player. Um, I mean, a lot of these units here will get through. They'll eventually just storm through. They probably... They don't look like they've actually been given the attack order. Certainly... Oh, these are pole arms. They're slowly just stabbing the way up then. Um, let's... The Gurids, though. I'm interested to see whether the Gurids can save this. They're really sending in a lot of their... Like, damage stuff now. Not a good sign. The Teutonic Order is just outmatching these guys. I think it's going to come down to the Papal uh, States and the, uh, probably what's left of the Teutonic Order in Poland to win this. I mean, Gurids, I don't think are out yet. They've still got a few units left. They can, if they play this right, they can uh, 
do some damage. But they're just struggling to get through this choke point here. They really need to, um... They need to focus down, like, some other areas. Like, they could possibly, like... They had some archers. Get these archers up here. Make these pole arms or halberdiers pay just for standing here. All those elephants died, man. What a waste. What a waste. You'll not be forgotten. Oh, sweet prince. But, um... But yes. It does seem like... Teutonic Order has got this well and truly um, sorted. I mean, his general's getting focused down. He really should just stick him back. No point keeping him here. And he's down to his final unit of fresh infantry, some Mirage Puts. Everything else has been sent in here. And they're not doing well. So maybe the Gurids... I think the Gurids would be really good in a field, in a field battle, but they're really struggling at the moment in... Uh, in this battle, I don't know whether it's just because he brought elephants. Maybe those elephants have been... Like, if you send those elephants up now, like with the Nafatoons, like, look at the damage they could do. There's so much bulking up here. There's no threat as well, and they've got, like, no ammo left. They wouldn't be able to do enough damage. It's why... It was a bit early from him. I was a bit surprised. I would have just taken it slow, sent up a few units. I don't know why he's charging Cavan to his own men. Um, but, I mean, yeah, like... If he'd saved the Nafatoons till later, they could have been that could be huge. He did luckily use to pull the ammo, I think. It's Nafatoon elephants, so that was that was good enough. Then they didn't they didn't die before they hadn't thrown all their clay pots of explosive destruction. That's a really long, convoluted way of saying it. Some more crossbows like back here. How much ammo do they have? Uh, they don't have much either, see, like, look, they don't, oh, there's a huge break going on here, though. Oh, this could be huge. Teutonic Order, two units were wavering there. Another charge like that, that might do the, that might do the job. Those medium cav might want to stay in there, because these guys are wavering. They're not, they don't like that. Might want to send in some more stuff, send in this weakened unit of spears, might as well. Might break these guys. There you go, there's Pavi's crossbow, uh, spears trying to... Uh, get out of there. But, I mean, I'm saying that the Gurids are running out of fresh stuff. They definitely have a lot less units. They're looking at the units. But, I mean, they've also, like, most of their units that are left are fresh. Tutor and Quarter. It's got a lot of units that are not fresh here. Like, and they're pretty, well, they're, they're shaken. All these units are shaken. Get this cavern here, man. Get this cavern here. Oh, okay. There could be another cav fight on, on the way. Great Banner of Krakow, which... I forgot one was here. I think he was going to go and try and go for a general snipe, possibly. I would have had to get through the barricade first that they set up. But this medium melee here might just be protecting against that. But against heavy shock, could be quite even. I'd send in that final unit of rash, but now try and really just force your way through here. If you force your way through here, surround what's over there. That's GG for the Teutonic Order. I would, yeah, the Teutonic Order, I'd be sending in some more stuff here. Just anything that's pretty trash. But they they are now wavering. I'm just keeping the hood on just so I can see where the stuff's wavering. Uh, but it looks like the Papal States are giving up on assaulting this. Again, they're going to hold back, maybe shoot them up a bit more. Um, not a bad decision. These certainly these junior knights could do with being killed a bit more. They look far too fresh. Yeah, they barely lost any of them. Get them lower. And certainly these. Pa oh no, they're going to still sending stuff in, just alternating which units are going in. They're saving those halberds for later, I presume. I mean, yeah, these, um, these swords are doing a good job. Slowly taking them out. That's an interesting shield. I'm looking at shields now. Hey, look, that's a cool looking shield. How are they doing on the far side then? Are they actually... They've been... Whoa, okay. I have missed this. They've broken through over here. Did they kill all those pikemen? Surely not. Did the pikes get out? I think they might have. I think they this is the pike unit here. They got them out. But they're now in the rear. They can now get into this rear. They're, they are already in the rear. They're now defending. The Great Banner of Krakow is over here. Fighting against these uh, Compagnia Adventura. But these spears, they should help win this fight against the Krakow Knights. This is huge. The Papal States is almost onto the final like defense. What's he fighting here with his... Um, I thought this is general, but it's not. It's dismounted junior knights. He needs to get some infantry in here. Kill this unit. He's le left it out here to die almost. That's huge. <gasps> and there's breaking over here now. More wavering. The Teutonic Order's running out of troops. 
He's really running out of troops. The Guras make it through. Oh, what you could do if you had Nafatoons here. The destruction that would happen. There'd be so much breaking. Nafatoons now. Now would be the time. But they're, they're gone. Um, Balance Parate has gone to even. It's very, very close now. It's 200 man difference. And there you go. They're finally through. They've let them through the choke point. Um, not that they've got much. They really need to send those Rajputs up. Um, they do have to play this delicately though. Yeah, go into there possibly. But they can just be surrounded. That is the problem. They can just be surrounded by letting them through. It's actually not a bad idea to let them through. They also can be shot on the side. Here you go. The, Sa the Samlanders are going to try and surround them. It's a weak unit. I don't know if they will actually do it. And I hate these bushes being here. But the Rajputs. There are Rajputs coming up. So, And the General's going in. Is he going to go? Yeah, here he goes. That might break these spears though. However elite you are. If you've got Royal in your name. You're not going to get... Uh, you're not going to do well against these Grandmaster Cavalry. God, I mean, they're losing a lot, actually, though, these Grandmaster Cavalry. They're pretty bloodied up already. Oh, that maybe wasn't a good idea. That was not a good idea by the uh, Cavalry. Those Spears did quite well, but they are wavering. They need to send those, those Rajputs. Where are those Rajputs? Send them in. Send them in. They, they're just becoming targets now for these arrows. Everything's wavering here. You need to send them in. These... Infantry needs support. The cavalry could do with being sent in as well. Like this cavalry could go all the way around here. It could surround. No, no, yeah, I know. I can see what he's trying to do. But he's gonna have to knock down this bit of barricade. I don't know if he's seen. Oh, he, I think this. We're gonna see a bit of a micro mistake here. I think this cavalry is about to charge into these halberds. Oh no! Oh no! I see what he's trying to do, and he's. Oh, at least I hope he was trying to get around them. And because of the barricade being there. Yeah, they're going to charge in. And oh my gosh. Look how many of them just died. Yeah, I think he's now realized. And he's like, oh god. What have I done? What have I done? Killed so many of my men. That was, yeah, unfortunate. But there you go. Huge break by the Teutonic Order. They're now um, really... This is like Code Red. I get whatever you can back. This lot here is doomed. You need to get like these archers back. Okay, you certainly get your general back. I think the general is still alive. Um, but yes, Teutonic Order, who I thought was really strong, I thought it would, they were going to hold out longer. Looking looking bad. Oh, General has died. Oh, the Guru General is dead, though. That might just save the Teutonic Order. Hmm. Yeah, that's not so good. They're down to these, this one unit of Rajputs. What's over here? Um, but I mean, so if they can break this, then they can surround. But the enemy General is dead here. So the Teutonic have also lost their General. So it's just as even. Um, I'd say just because of, like, quality of troops that's left, um, the Gurids might take this. But I'm not sure. This unit's surrounded, so that could just break them. I just sent this cavalry in now just to do damage. There's no worry about losing the general now. That's gone. And there you go. Here, I think this is going to be it. They're going to send them in. I don't know. What is he, what's he going for? Uh, he's going in. That's a poor charge, but or he's been caught. But who knows? Who knows? And there you go. A lot of breaking by the Teutonic Order. It's down to one unit of Samlanders. I just like that they're called Samlanders. It's so weird. They're pretty fresh. They are wavering though, or were wavering at one point. They're exhausted. No, that's not so good. These guys are fresh, very tired. Yeah, oh, this is going to be close. It's going to come down to Poland to win this and a few units of the Teutonic Order. Oh, no, this is Poland as well. Oh, no. Yeah, they're, these cavalrys are ready. Dave Halberdier is ready for them. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be a close one. I think Poland's got enough, like, spear units to hold back. He's brought a lot of spears. He barely brought any swords. He brought, like, two units to dismount to junior knights. And that's it. And they're losing decisively to these swords of the... Uh, Papal states. Just have like three gold chevrons. They're insanely good. But I mean, they're getting focused down by a. Uh, they're getting focused down by the. What are this? It's the gunners up here. Oh my gosh. But the gunners aren't looking so great themselves either. Those uh, crossbows are now releasing their bolts onto them. Which is, this is certainly a better unit to be using against them. 
I mean, they're a light, light hanger. I'm surprised they weren't getting killed by the archers. But, I mean, these bolts are certainly going to go through any armor they have, killing them. Yeah, they really need to break that unit so these guys don't get broken. Because, that yeah, they'll do some damage. Eh. Yeah, they're getting a few more. They're getting a one or two more. Here we go. Yeah, it's, yeah, slowly they're going to whittle these guys down. I'm surprised they haven't broken already. But, I mean, yeah, they're also great wavering of these junior knights. They are only junior knights, so after all, they're fighting against the papal states' is best and brightest right now. And yeah, they clearly killed that uh, cavalry of Krakow off as well. Um, I think they're just knocking down barricades just to, like, open up avenues. Because they don't want to engage. Which is fair enough. I, yeah, get this cavalry around, try and surround what's game. left of the uh, of the Teutonic Order. Which is this is it. This is it. Two units of archers, one being crossbows. Use every last bolt you have, men. Look at all these men running. The once proud army of the Teutonic Order, broken. And I do wonder whether they hadn't sent, uh, had those two units of uh, cavalry. Those halberdiers, uh, not halberdiers, halbruders sent out. Whether they would have won this fight. Like that halbrood, they did nothing wrong with the Teutonic Order at all. They did nothing wrong. But maybe if those, they had that cav those, instead of having two units of cavalry, they had those two units of like more infantry, like spears or something. They may have held here. Maybe an entirely different battle. But here we go, those papal states with their uh, cavalry getting around the back. They're going to surround these. Uh, Poor archers, and they'll probably break. I say that, well, they're probably these crossbows, so they may not. But these Prussian archers, they're also going to have to turn around and face what's left of the Gurids. Which is not much. Which is not much. And these Gurids are breaking before they even get into combat. They just break near combat. Wow. Yeah, that's not a good sign. So the Gurids are basically out. This is not a good sign. If they're going to break now, when they come up against the Polish. Yep, that's one unit gone. Down to two units. It's Afghan infantry. Oh, if it's Rajputs, they might have a chance, but Afghan infantry, not as good, not as good. And it looks like these uh, Pavis crossbow are going to break any moment now. Cavalry's in amongst them. It's causing chaos. Brave men, kill them all. For def they're fighting against God's re recognized leader, or whatever it is. What, what's he? I forgot what the Pope's called. He's like God's. Oh, God's representative on earth. There you go. God's representative on earth. And they're fight. Oh, God. We've gone past the choke point. How could we do that? How dare we? The camera is being an absolute so and so. Um, but yes, it finally looks like they're going to break through this choke point. And. Yeah, these knights are finally going to give in. They've done well for being junior knights. Oh, they've got some... Is this that Lithuanian arch unit that they've been hanging on with their ammo for so long? Yeah. This is, that's good that they've still got a unit with a good amount of ammo. Yeah, just get these guys up here. Got to get these guys up. Just protect them. Put them, like, here or somewhere. Hide them behind us. And, or just hide them back here. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for the latter. Okay, that's not too bad. You need, you need some ammo left of himself. I don't know what he's really got left. He's got Pavi's crossbows here engaged. That's not good. I think they were shooting at his pikes here, and he's now sending more. More dismounted junior knights. He, he seems to be able to pull out another unit every so often, and it amazes me. Here we go. They're going to get surrounded. They're going to probably kill these off quite quickly now. Poor boys. The camera. There we go. It finally gives in. Papal State's doing a very good job here. It's going to come down to him whether they uh, win this. The attackers. I don't know who I'm really rooting for now. Uh, attackers do have the advantage in numbers and in balance of power. Ever so slightly though. It's like minimal. And certainly with the pikes and the spears that they have on offer and the halberds, uh, the poles could hold for a long time. Look at this, the Gear is still, still alive, and it looks like the Teutonic Order is still alive as well. Got, yeah, that's a pretty brutal charge. Yeah, that'll break them. That's good. Good for the attackers, finally losing this unit. Um, 
of the Teutonic Order. And then it's going to be the Teutonic Order basically gone. I think in a moment. Yeah, they're broken. Then they'll go into the back of these Prussian archers. And that'll be it. You can hear them. They're coming. They're, go they're coming, those goddamn papal boys. There's one. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah, they'll break in no time with those uh, Prussian archers. Already going. I mean, in fairness, so are the Afghan infantry. They may break soon. And it, coming down to this final last defense, they're already uh, getting ready of the poles. The Papal States, I don't know what they, they can really do. They've not got much halberds. I don't think they've got any halberds. They've got a bit of ammo left on their archers. They really need to get their archers up here. They have got their own halberds, actually. And they've got some... Um, shock cover, or not shock cover, shock infantry, that's good. But, um, they're pulling everything back. Okay. Are they thinking just holding this choke point here? I wonder. They're gonna let them in. I wouldn't have done that. This ramp looks like, look at how they did uh, this ramp. They've just finally broken through and it cost them an army. Holding here may not actually be a, a, the greatest of ideas. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna hold here. I put the pikes in with them. I mean, the archers, otherwise, it's just going to rip, rip them to shreds. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that junior knight. Those junior knights, they're gone. But it's a good learning curve for these junior knights, isn't it? I mean, they're going to die before they can learn anything, but they they shouldn't have gone out and fought here. I know it's the player's decision. Maybe he, I don't know. He did it, obviously, to dislodge those archers from shooting at point blank range at his men, but he's lost a unit for doing it. Like, I don't even think they had much ammo left. Yeah. Probably could have held out those Pavi's Spears, for instance, certainly. Could have just dealt with, like, these archers for ages. And now he's having to put these pikes back in with the Pavi's Spearmen just to protect them. Because otherwise they're going to get focused on. But so are these halberds. The men are wavering. Oh, that's not so good. They're wavering, but now they're, they're sorted now. General dead, yep. Yeah. He will need to get this Afghan unit possibly up here. Try and support the attack. Every unit is going to be needed. Here we go. The Swiss and the Pavi's Spears are going to make the final stand. Apparently there's 20 minutes left. Good God. Don't know how this is going to last 20 minutes. I mean, do not even look like there's enough units for it to last more than five. But... I mean, maybe the papacy, they've got a lot of, quite a few fresh units left. Looks like they're just going to go off this way. They're like, they don't even care. They're like, no, we're, we're just going to go off here. We're going to go and fight the Gurids as well. Kill them off. Yeah, it looks like they're, maybe they're just going to, it looks like they're going to stand here, use up every bolt that they have left. That's not a bad move. Um, get these archers up here then, if you're going to use every ammo, bit of ammo left. You can get them up here and you can start firing on these, uh, and these guys back here, yeah, not a bad move. Shoot on, well, just about everything. Everything here. You could go for your general. You could take out these heavy axemen, these halberdiers. You really need to get, um, yeah, I mean, they are slowly coming up now. Get these guys, knock down this, and then just start shooting these halberdiers. Because these halberdiers have got no protection. I mean, they are running out of spear units. They only have one spear unit left. So, I mean, it's not looking good. That's what I'd do. Is papacy, he's got... There's, I mean, there is no need to rush it, but I also would, <laughs> possibly. I would possibly rush. Just take this out, retreat, shoot his uh, his halberdiers. Because if you're gonna do, you've got to attack all at the same time. I mean, they're losing a few guys. They're not losing many. These Swiss pikemen will be fine. So I may make a small cut here, guys, and just wait until um, the papacy and the Gurids finally make their final assault. And, uh, well, so we'll see the end of the battle. Because you guys don't want to see this. They're just going to shoot very, very slowly. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back, and the Polish king has gone in to fight these uh, swords. They've just knocked down this barricade, and he had got his archers up ready to shoot, but it looks like um, to shoot these halberds, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Are they going to come in? I do not know. I would if I was the, uh, I'd be sending everything in here. He's just going to 
turn around and charge again. He's going to just break these guys. Yeah, that'll probably do the job. He wants to get through to these archers. Need to send up more infantry. Need to send up what's left of your infantry. Send it all in in one go. And um, just kind of force him back. You've got to send it in now because this, this cavalry's just going to do that. It's just outrageous. He'll do it one final time, you imagine. No. Okay, he's not going to do it again. This infantry's wavering. I said, send up the archers. Send up the archers. These archers can shoot over your men. So you just put the like the soul like put the halberds there. Actually, well, maybe not the halberds. You certainly put something up like your swords, and you just like protect them while you shoot the halberdiers. Also, it's like he's using up the rest of his ammo. These Lithuanian archers, but I don't know where he's getting any good kills. It doesn't look like it. And he's shooting his ar he's shooting archers like that's not. The greatest side. You want to shoot these infantry. Try and break these infantry. One final time. Interesting move. Interesting. I mean, looks like it's going to turn back to another stalemate. I thought that was going to be... They were going to send in all their stuff there where the, ki where the king went in. So I'll make another quick cut. Um, and we'll see what happens in a moment. So here we go. A final engagement, I think. Um, so these crossbows got right up to here the way they are now, and they started shooting at these pikes. The absolute audacity to do so. Um, so they're now engaged with them. The pikes aren't going to have any of it. They're like, right, you're going to get that close. We'll come up and stab you with our long pointy boys. So I think this might be it. I mean, they're shooting over here as well at the halberdiers. Um, they're making a smart move here, to be honest, with the halberdiers. Not letting them not letting them get close. So these archers really do need to like get somewhere like here. Shoot these halberdiers. Obviously, it's the threat of the king and his uh, bodyguard. I mean, I think the Polish might have this. I don't think that the uh, Papal States has enough ammo left to win this. I could be wrong. Have they got any ammo left? Uh, I don't know. They got like, oh yeah, they've got a little bit of ammo left. You just shoot them from there. That's fairly close. Oh, they're gonna do it again. No, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. This is disgusting. Execution is what it is. I wouldn't even shoot at this. I'd shoot at like King. Shoot the King. Weaken that cavalry. Like get the units like back there to shoot in the back of these if you want to, or just shoot. Let them shoot the halberdiers. What you're gonna do this side, that side over there is the more likely side to break. They've got no infantry over there with shields. You gotta just throw in a lot of infantry here. I think they've got their infantry like all mixed up, like the wrong sides. So they've got a fresh unit of infantry here. They've got more infantry units here, but they've got... Well, they've got a fair bit here. Um, they've got the Gurids as well. They need to send in... Yeah, here they go. They're going to send in their... Um, shock infantry to catch this infantry... To catch this stuff. These heavy axemen. Yeah, they're going to try and do it. It's going to be a lot of this, I think, for a bit. Until eventually one side gives in and just... Attacks. And finally does it. But, I mean, these pikes... Poor pikes. They actually are getting slowly whittled down. I'm, you can't really tell... Ridiculous. Poor pi like these guys here. They you're the scum of the earth. Scum. Do not go quietly, my brothers. Let's make them I agree, do not go quietly. Do not go quietly. Yeah, there's the execution. That is brutal. That is I mean, at this point I would also possibly try this. Like you you get this I wouldn't get this close, but I'd be doing the same. I'd be shooting men. Uh, it's very, very close. I mean, with very little infantry that you can actually probably break through this. The uh, papacy does need to do this. And it's being effective. They are getting a couple of kills every single time. They're having to rejig their formation. And you use every single bolt before you go in. And it looks like they're also, like, they're nearly out of ammo with the uh, poles. So that's not a good sign. And we have got a fight over here now between the axemen. Cavalry? I wouldn't have said in the cavalry. Is this the general? This is the general. I have... The Pope shouldn't be sending in his general. The... It is the Pope, probably. Good God. So the Pope's probably fighting here. I mean, we've got the Gurids now fighting. That's a good idea. Send the Gurids in. They d they've got no general, so they'll probably... They're not worth keeping around, anyway. It's a bit harsh to say, but it's kind of true. I wouldn't send the general in, though, for the Pope. Uh, papacy. Uh, what else have they got in here? They've got... Oh my god, they've got a uh, catapult crews, which are really chevroned up. Really bizarre that they chevroned up their, arch their catapult so much. Could have chevroned up maybe archers. That would have been a better idea, possibly. The pole arms are keeping well back in reserve. I would have chevroned these guys up a bit. Um, 
possibly give them a bit more morale. See what happens. But yeah, these um, these heavy axemen are going to break soon. Look, are they going to send up their halberds now? Yeah. Okay, so what it turned into like a skirmish is now turning into a full-blown fight. And this doesn't look like how it's going to go. The Gurids, are they breaking or are they just... Uh, they're just pulling back because they've seen the halberds are going in. I'd be the same with the general now. The general, I would also be thinking he needs to get out of there. He's lost uh, about half his unit. He needs to be very careful. The Poles at this rate, if they can kill that general, they can do well. The Poles are keeping their general well back. Very smart. There's another unit of archers somewhere though. I keep, s I swear. Oh, did it come all the way around here? It may have done. There was a unit of archers at very little ammo as well. I don't think it was this one. I thought it had more ammo than this, but maybe they've used up all their ammo. Oh no, of course it's this unit literally here that's just stood. Yeah, literally just stood there. So they just used up their all their ammo and are going to go in. I just wouldn't do this. Just don't attack. Don't just if they've got to stand here with two units, just send more units around this way. Because this is where you're going to need your men now. You keep enough here that they have to, so like all these archers. You send all your melee stuff in the other way. Like this kind of would, could work. You're sort of forcing your way through. You're not really attacking the pikes itself. But it's not that effective. It's just be better just to, uh, I don't know, attack from the other side. Looks like the Gears might be fa uh, about to flee. Yeah. I mean, these halberds are losing decisively though. That's good. Good if you're the attackers. It's now a 400 man difference. But I'm quite confident in the 400, uh, in these, like the difference of the 400 men that they have. Like they have a lot of halberds, lots of pikes. It could be done. Oh no! Oh, the Pope's gone. Oh, that could be huge now. I think that might be GG. Like, the Polish general is so safe. I'd send your general back now. Like, there's no need to send the, these guys in. I did think it was bizarre. Why send the general into this prolonged melee? There was no way that you were going to break these guys. And especially when there's, like, halberds here. Yeah, I mean, he's got him out far too late. Just keep him in there now. He's going to... But the Polish general's going to go in. This is bizarre. Why send him in? I mean... Uh, you can, oh yeah, the Afghans have to go in because otherwise he's going to force his way around. Did the general break? Oh, he might have broken actually. Yeah, he, sh he shattered. So this is it. This is all of the uh, their troops. Oh, they're going to try and pull through. That's not a good idea. Yeah, get the general out there. Oh, he might die. I don't, he has a gold helmet. I know that the Polish general has a gold helmet. Oh, that was a silly move really. He lost so many men from doing that. So you got a halberd unit here, guy, man. Send them in. There he is. The Polish general is very much alive. And he doesn't even look bloodied up yet. There you go. The Afghans are gone. And they're going to just shoot with their... Uh, they're going to shoot with their... I just use normal ammo. Don't use fire ammo. Or just use heavy shot. I think they've got heavy shots and ability. But I mean, these are... This uh, arch is... They just either shoot the halberds. I mean, they do kind of need to shoot the general. The general is kind of like... What's keeping this army alive now? This is going to be a long, long slog here. I thought the Pavis, they'll probably do okay. Um, these archers, I wouldn't send them in here. The, this side's looking fine. There's no way they're going to break through this at any time soon. These archers are better off fighting over there. They, they could break all this, then they could swoop around and surround what's left of the papacy. Because this is Halberd v. Halberd now. This is, yeah, there we go. The archers, thank God, they're turning around. They, they could definitely force a way through. I mean, look, the general general gone. These units are just wavering now before they even gone to battle. That's huge. They really need some ammo over here, don't they? They need some ammo here just to finish shooting that general. Shoot him up a little bit more. There's a good gap now for these uh, Polish to get through. Get through this gap. Come on. I kind of want the Poles to win now. I mean... Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Just send them through that gap. Send them through the little gap here. Get around. Do some damage. Oh, they're trying it. They're trying it. They're going to lose a lot of men from doing it. Well, they can attack the archers. If they can route those archers. Then um, they might do. That might do the job. Because these Polish Lithuanian. Or Polish Lithuanian. These Lithuanian archers. Pretty up well armored. Yeah, they've actually got to them. Oh, that was. The Papal, e uh, the papal player should not have allowed this to happen. 
I don't know. These are medium bows against medium bows. These guys are a lot more heavy armored than um, than their papal counterparts, though. I don't know. Oh, it's looking rough now. Those halberds broke. Oh, yeah. This is this is game. I think it's gone very back to. It's very close now. Two hundred man difference. Lots of stuff wavering. They really need more infantry over here. More infantry is needed. But, I mean, they're wavering as well, these heavy axemen. And these guys are losing. Not quite sure how. But this flank's are very open. If they could just... They don't even have anything to send around there. It's so annoying. Frustrating, but, I mean, this is not looking good for the paper player. Lots of stuff wavering. He really did need every round he could get, or every volley he could get. And it's coming down just the last man. It's going to be insane. It's going to be an insane last stand. But I think he's safe. I think with the Polish general alive and this solid line of pikes and uh, Pavi's spears, I don't think there's much they can do. Yeah, they're now winning, uh, winning decisively. Losing decisively. Yeah, that's probably going to be it. I mean, I don't know who's winning that. On numbers, the Papal States, but I don't know. These guys, yeah, I don't know. Look at the banner, though. The banner money's getting in there. He's like, I must fight for my, for my, my holiness or his holiness. Look at the banner. The Papal banner looks awesome. I think the Papal States doesn't have great. In I don't know what it's really got great stuff of. It's got some okay spears. It's swords are not awful either, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, them on the battlefield a bit more. I'd like to see them on the battlefield a bit more. And if you guys have got more replays, then do send them in. Um, if you're in the Papal Legion Discord, um, then you know where to put them. And if you aren't in the Discord, then do join. I'll leave the link in the description and. Um, you can then send in your replays, and they can feature then on the battle. Uh, then we can see them on the battlefield ourselves. That would be great. Because like, if they like this one, then I certainly want more replays. Because this is a great replay. And there we go. Looks like that's going to be it. I don't think that they're going to get through. Certainly with these halberds now forcing back these uh, archers. That is probably going to be the game. And it's unfortunate that the uh, Papal player could not take this city from the Polish. But I mean, if anything, if you're rooting for the Christian, the, like the double Christian nations, then that's good because the Gurids don't. You don't want the Gurids in here. But I mean, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. It looks like it's going to be a Polish and Teutonic victory. The Teutonic... Teutonic uh, order is not going to be here to see it. They are long dead. It's a brutal fight. It's such a brutal fight. Like, I mean, if we just quickly have a look. The Teutonic Order, like, and the uh, Gurids literally had, like, huge piles of men, like, that died here. It's ridiculous. Like, there. Also here with the elephants. This is a disgusting one as well. I think those Nafatun elephants we can see now, they were needed later on in the game. Like, certainly, not like now, but like when they were, um, they were in like these choke points. Still, like, a lot longer into the battle. Though, like, over here, there's a huge buildup of infantry. If they threw their Nafsons in, they could have probably broke a lot of these stuff. They'd have got a lot of infantry through, a lot fresher. They wouldn't have had to risk their general. Um, it could have been a lot different. I think if those Nafsons elephants had been kept alive. And there's no need to send them in. Oh, the king's going in dismounted. Interesting. That's not a bad idea. I mean, I wouldn't really send him in either. It's, why risk it at this point? A lot of these units are breaking. Um, you've definitely won this. No need. But, um, but yes. So, it looks like the Polish player is going to win this. So, I'm going to speed up for the sake of the video. Uh, there's no need to really just see this. Uh, the, the king is losing decisively. Imagine if he loses it now with his king being killed. That would be hilarious. Obviously not for the Polish player and people rooting for Poland. But I mean, 
as as an like if you were playing as the attackers, you'd be like, oh my gosh, we'd lost this. Then the man goes and just sends his sends in his king. I think he's realised that it's not a good idea to send your king in. If you send your king and go and get him to butch down these archers. But yeah, he's now freed up this side. These halberds can get over it. His archers can get over it. Force these guys back now. And it looks like they're going to start winning. There's not much left on the time. Looks like these guys are going to win. They're forcing them back ever so slowly. These poor poor more. And there you go. There's a huge route there. That's one route. That's the last of the swords about to go. And then they're wavering. Now they're shattered. And there you go. A valiant defeat. It certainly was. The Gurids have uh, the Gurids and the well and the uh, Papal States fought very, very well, and they were very unfortunate not to win that. So anyway, so thank you for Drunk Norwegian for sending this one in. It was a great battle. Great to see um, the Gurids on the battlefield. Um, lots of the units did very, very well actually. A lot of their units getting over 100 kills. Um, like look at this crossbow unit here. They got 297 kills. That is insane. Um, we've elephants, so this is the Nafatun unit uh, here, got 113. But imagine what they could have got if they stayed around longer. They could have done so much better. And the uh, Cabal's getting 111 kills, that's fairly good. I'm not really sure what their Cabal's were really aiming at. I don't know if I was paid attention much to them. Their, um, their Rajput's here getting a lot of kills. They're getting like 169 kills, 148, not surprising. They were solid units. Their Royal Pyaks, uh doing very well, getting 226 uh, 28 kills, that's very good. Afghan infantry getting 314. What? I would say they were awful, but this unit's actually probably got the most kills out of any of the units here. General did okay, and the Cav did okay as well, but not great. And um, the Sturm Legion playing as the uh, as the Papal States. Um, his Ballastari doing very well, getting 156 kills, and they all get 236. Excellent. His um. Cavalry doing well here, getting 252 kills. Like, look at his army, he's so well leveled up. Like, these guys here, look at that unit card, they look chunky as hell. Uh, getting 183 kills and 126, not too bad either there. His swords, I thought it did a lot better. Actually, well, it did. 351, that's insane. And the other one's doing fairly well on 100. This one didn't do so well at 22, and they broke just at the end there. Um, and then the other one's doing okay as well. Um... So clearly they're actually not too bad, clearly, when really leveled up. His general getting 200, uh, no, 123 kills. That's very good as well. Um, a bit of a shame he sent him in so early. He may have won that battle if his general hadn't been sent in at the very last minute there. Um, Goldberg PL playing as Poland. Getting a lot of kills with his pikes, as expected, 223. Getting 201 with his halberdiers, 166 with the other. Um, and then his arch is doing fairly well. His Lithuanian archers, I thought, would get a lot more kills. They seem to be like set up in some good spots, getting a lot of kills. Pavis, not getting many kills, but they slowed down the army very well. His heavy axeman getting 91 kills. And his great banner of Krakow getting 113 kills. And his uh, Pavis handgun is getting 138. So actually doing better than any of the archers. That's interesting. His dismounted junior knights, uh, those junior knights, well, they're dead. So they won't be able to be promoted to senior knights. But they're getting 108 kills. Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, who took part in this battle um, as the Teutonic Order, getting 175 kills with his dismounted rear brooder um, and 141 with the other, and not anything else that did like extremely well. I'd say 111 with um, Samlander infantry is pretty good. His Prussian archers are getting 234. Actually, that's a good unit. To get a lot of kills on and his crossbows getting about 150 kills each there. So anyway, Legionnaires, if you enjoyed that battle and want to see more 12-12 action, um, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And if you got to this point, well done to you for uh, sticking out till the end. And until next time, Legionnaires...